What's going on YouTube? Working on a Banshee tonight, you know, figured I'd make a quick video. You might uh, hear me mention every once in a while in some of my uh, riding videos that uh, the front brakes on these Banshees just, they just suck. They're just, just awful. And, and I don't think I ever really realized it until I, I uh, been riding uh, the 450, which the, the brakes are actually phenomenal. Phenomenal. So, you know, there's a thing, and I didn't even know it was a thing, <clears throat> that you can actually, you can actually put 450 brakes on your Banshee. Twin piston, twin piston calipers. Look at the size difference. I mean, it's dramatic. So, I mean, these are, these are the OEM the OEM calipers, they're, you know, they're well over, what, 27 years old. You know, they, they don't owe me nothing. But they've never really been that great. And these, these are off of um, 2007 YFC 450. And they literally just bolt right on there. With, with no modification at all, they just bolt right on. So that's about what I'm, that's what I'm about to do. The pads even sit on there real nice. Like the whole pad. Look at this. It's just smush. And it's all getting worn out. And again, this is all original. It's just smushy. They really don't. They don't stop that great. Don't come over here. Look at the difference. Hear that? Click, click. The brakes are phenomenal on this thing. Absolutely phenomenal. That's like one of the first things I noticed. <clears throat> I'm actually not spending any more money on that at all. I'm done with that one. I can't, I can't do no more money on this one. That's like buying a Harley, honestly. We're gonna start concentrating back on this one because, you know, as stuff wears out, you know, that's fine. You know, to, to buy either upgraded stuff or replace it, it's just, you know, with, with these, you're, you're just basically taking off brand new stuff and, and putting on other brand new stuff. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. So, <clears throat> you know, we're going to be working on this one. We're going to be doing some upgrades. Here's the other side. And then they also recommend that you get uh, a new master cylinder because it has more volume. And, of course, I want that click, click, click. That's so nice. It'll be one finger brake action. I put all this stuff out here for you guys in case you wanted to see the part numbers. You know, the left and right caliper. And then here's the part number for the master cylinder. You got that there? Got it. Got it. Got it. Now I bought all OEM stuff because I'm, because I'm a kook. Uh, you can get this stuff, uh, you know, aftermarket, you know, for you know, like an affordable price, but I've had my, uh, I've had my boss with the, the Chinese stuff. Like this one here, this is a, this is a Chinese rear. And as soon as I put it on, it was just like leaking, leaking out of this, uh, parking brake block off. I mean, these, it's like, these things are made out of like crushed fortune cookies even the brake pads that came with it they like they like last one ride it's not even worth changing the pads actually you could just buy a whole new damn caliper and just put it on there they're so inexpensive um i don't i don't know of another rear brake uh that you can put on there maybe a brembo or something like that but i don't know the front brakes are more important really so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put them on I'm gonna put them on and bleed them out, put the master cylinder on there, and then I'll come back to you and let's see what happens. All right, see you in a bit. All right, we're back. So I got them in there, got them in there. Look at that, fitting there perfectly. This is pretty relatively painless to do this one. Fit real nice. Uses the stock banjo bolt, stock washers. 
Yeah, fits perfect. Fits on the pad nice. Got the uh, got the new master cylinder on there. So again, this is um, this is 2008 that I bought 2008 YFZ 450 master cylinder. 2008, and then these were from a 2007 YFZ 450. And I I think don't quote me. I think you can get the Raptor ones too from some of them earlier years. Pretty much the same thing, so so that's great. So that's gonna be a huge upgrade. I know it's gonna be. This, uh, look at that. That's way better than it was before. It's got full braking. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm super stoked about that. I'm gonna give that a try. We got a few other things to do. We gotta replace the um, the steering stem bushing, and then uh, a couple of these little bushings that go in here, getting loose. Oh, and the axle, the bearings on the axle, those are starting to finally, starting to finally go bad. I'm actually gonna get a whole new swing arm. I'm gonna get the swing arm with the. Uh, with like the Honda style carrier or the 450 style carrier, the round one, because adjusting these, that's, it's a nightmare. <clears throat> I've about had it with that. This stuff's so old, you know, this stuff's starting to get so wallowed out. It's just, uh, it's tough to keep the axle straight. So we're gonna get a new one, got an LSR, LSR um, swing arm, got it on the way. It's gonna take a little while, but we're gonna put that on there. I've been wanting that one for a while, so that'll be our next thing. Uh, not gonna worry about this rear brake. Uh, it works for now, so uh, we'll just leave it at that, and uh, we'll just keep on going. Keep on going. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll catch y'all next time. Late.